Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back into another RGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, we are gonna looking at the change in the base map of Pacer to have a better preview and better looking and uh, the thickness uh, names. So when you print the map, the names and everything will be good looking, better visible and well readable. Now, um, let's get started. Firstly, I have created a uh, simple template. You see, this is an A3 format. Um, I have a, I have the map canvas here. I have North Arrow, Legend. Uh, I have Title. Also, there is the scale bar and the scale name and the, the, the source, of course, that is also. And for this, I have uh, exported two different maps that I'm going to show you quite quickly. This is with the uh, with the uh, with backgrounds. Uh, I I have put a uh, a thin background just to have some differences, just to see it. And this is completely completely uh, plain without any background, without nothing. We have the legend. We have this is this is completely without nothing. Now let's get started. Firstly, if you have Adobe Illustrator in your computer, you can go ahead and export export this map into Adobe Illustrator. I have exported into PDF because I don't have the license of Adobe Illustrator. So for this, but for this, I have installed a free open source software, which is called Inkscape. This is completely open source. You can uh, search in Google. It is a Google project. So it, it does not, uh, it will uh, require you nothing. Just uh, download and install it. This is the software. Now I am going to open the map with the file open uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to choose the second map. I will hit OK. And here we are. This is, uh, this is our map loaded into Inkscape. Uh, this is the object, uh, the object window. You can find it if you have open for the first time. You, you won't see it, but you can find it in object and objects. And uh, for this, we see that they are all the layers of our map. If we if we close something, we see that this layer is closed. So this means that this is the north arrow and uh, map uh, map details, not the map canvas. The map canvas normally should be the end. Okay. Now let's get started using this software. Firstly, we are gonna change the map canvas colors and uh, names. Uh, we are gonna choose the rectangular, create a rectangular. Uh, I am just gonna show you some tips, but if you are interested in this software, this is a huge software. This has a lot of more, more options that I am gonna show you in this video. We see that we have some rounded uh, corners here. I don't want the ra rounded corners for this. We are just gonna drag in this to the, to the, to the corner. To the now here is our rectangular we need this just in front of the base map to make to change just the base map not other map objects now we are gonna send it to the bottom and uh, we are gonna move up just to have it in front of the base map we see that now we are in front of the base map uh, for this I'm I, I wanted to show you the blend the blend option this is very important for doing some uh, quick tips and tricks to modify your map into a better one. We see that we have several options. Uh, we can choose color for the moment to, to, to check what's going on. We see that all the colors of map are changed from uh, green to pink. We can, we can play with colors. We can play also with opacity. For example, we can have a blue blue map not a uh, you see uh, so all colors are changed into blue not a not a green base map this changed completely the ma the base map so this is the, the way that we change the base map uh, using third party software uh, we can we can choose also lighter we can choose color color dodge we we have several options here but the one that i wanted to talk about it is the color burn if we choose the color burn we see that the color are are being th thicker uh, so 
for this if if we choose something like that the color are not changed completely at all but they are just a better looking and uh, a harder color not so light we see also the the heels we see everything names and everything like that so for this we we want the same color of base map but to but harder color so to be visible when we print the map and for this i'm just gonna sh gonna if, if we hit the gray not other colors we see that we have the same colors of the base map but they are harder if we compare to the to the our map we see or we can just go ahead and opacity to 100 uh, percent to zero percent sorry and we see that this is the original our map and uh, if we go to 100 we see that the color are are get are burned are getting harder and for this i'm i'm gonna use the something around 70 70 percent of uh, opacity uh, this is what uh, what i wanna or let's do it harder okay so this these are the colors that uh, i think they are they will look better by my po by my point of view but you can choose your own of course uh, of course they are better looking than the than the default one now to have some uh, fast tips we we are gonna we are gonna in input some uh, backgrounds of legends and the north arrow now firstly let, let's go to the north arrow as always let's create a rectangular let's send it just above the north arrow uh, here we are now we want some uh, corner some round corner for this and we are gonna change the color to something in uh, orange okay orange is good now let's have also an opacity of 70 percent let's put it with the uh, numbers okay uh, this is done now we want the same thing for our legend Move it above 70 percent here we are for this we don't have any any blend because if we go to blend it it will change if you see with it will change everything in above the above the rectangular so we are not gonna use any blend we are just gonna leave it normal because we want just for this and uh, now we we also want to have uh, one color For this, I am just gonna put it at the move it on the bottom, uh, and uh, I will have some uh, opacity just to have the same same color with legend and with North Arrow. And uh, here we are. This is our our modified map with uh, with base map. Uh, we are here inside of the city, so there are a lot of stuff. But if you if your project is uh, on the forest or on the on places that don't have so much information you will see that this map will be will be a killer one to the default map uh, now let's save this uh, this project into into a pdf so we have map one map two and i'm just gonna call it map three 200 resolution now now let's open the the exported map to see the differences between uh, the different between between the previous map uh, we here we have the map three and the map map one right now uh, let's do it into actual size also this into actual size we see the differences are very significant we see also the hills are more more visible also the houses the names and everything it is more readable so if we zoom if we zoomed in we see the names are well uh, readable here we are at 200 let's go to 200 here we see the names 
are pretty much readable also also the shadow the hills and everything uh, also the colors are are better looking raw contours you can see contours right here and uh, this is all so for for doing you can you can go ahead and check the this software it has a lot of options but i use this mostly for some fast uh, some fast modification of my my map export i hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, you give me some thumbs up or like or share or something like that or subscribe everything that you may you may feel if you feel that this tutorial helps you please give me a subscribe because for you it is just a subscription more but for me it will encourage to do a lot of stuff in future